Introducing the Mono PD200X Dynamic Microphone. Featuring a 2-in-1 smart knob for mic gain and headphone volume, mute key with LED indicator, customizable RGB lighting, USB XLR connectivity, and a boom arm, I can certainly see why this microphone has 472 five-star reviews on Amazon, especially with such a attractive price tag. Nice. But who is Mono? Mono is a brand you may have not heard of before, and to be honest, I didn't know much about them either. Founded in 2017, Mono is an international company with products focused on internet content creation. And as somebody with a job focused on internet content creation, I thought I'd try out the PD200X microphone and the BA92 boom arm to see if it can keep up with my other mics. Pull up a seat and get ready for the bell because today we're going to find out if the Mono PD200X is worth your $69. Welcome to the Rage Academy. If you're new here, we regularly look at weird, interesting, and new gaming-related tech. And just before we begin, here's my standard disclaimer. Mono sent me the PD200X microphone and BA92 boom arm to review, but has no editorial control over my content. Everything you're about to hear are my own original thoughts and opinions. The box feels sturdy and it comes in the brand's signature yellow and black colors. On the side, we'll find easy to read features about the microphone. On the bottom, we'll find everything that's included inside of the box, along with a frequency response and polar pattern of the microphone. Opening the box, we'll find a user manual for the PD200X along with a boom arm installation guide. Like, you really need that, but it's there. A USB-C to USB-C cable with a USB type A converter, the PD200X microphone, a desk C-clamp, and boom arm. The USB cable is rubberized and has a little bit of shape memory to it. In future revisions, I'd like to see Mono go with a braided USB-C cable to avoid any issues with memory in the USB cable. It's also generously long, ladies. The USB cable measures two and a half meters in length. That's 100 inches for my freedom unit friends. The included boom arm is spring-loaded and of metal construction, and it's this is certainly sturdier than some of the boom arms I've purchased off of Amazon. Mono actually sent me one of their springless low profile boom arms that we're going to take a look at in a moment. The PD200X is suspended in a plastic shock mount. The shock mount should isolate the microphone from any vibrations that could travel into the diaphragm. So if you readjust the microphone, it should help minimize the amount of noise it picks up on. The microphone itself is built inside of a metal capsule. It's fairly light and comes in a black and white variant. The pop filter is removable, but I will note the actual pop filter broke off of the plastic ring and I had to glue it back together super glue. It, it just, it fell apart. The PD200X is a directional dynamic microphone. Dynamic microphones are a type of mic that converts sound waves into electrical signals using electromagnetism, and directional just means it has to be pointed at the source of the audio in order to properly cap capture it. Point it at your face. On the back of the microphone, we'll find the I.O., input and output for the uninitiated. This microphone supports both XLR and USB-C inputs. When you plug the USB-C cable into your PC and the microphone, you'll be greeted by the LEDs. They all light up. There's a button on the bottom of the microphone that will allow you to cycle through the different RGB settings. This will change the color of the ring next to the pop filter. That's right here. With the PD200X, you can monitor your microphone audio along with your PC audio through the headphone amp on the back I.O. On the front of the microphone, there's two buttons. One is the mute button and the other is a clickable control knob. The mute button is Pretty self-explanatory, right guys? You don't need me to really go through that. But the clickable control knob will adjust your microphone volume, and if you click the knob, you'll be able to control the headphone volume. This is LED illuminated as well, albeit much dimmer than the pop filter ring. If you plan on only using the XLR analog input, you will not be able to use the features like the headphone amp, the mute buttons, or the RGB lights. So if you want to use the PD200X via XLR, but have the RGB lights, you have to plug in both the XLR cable and the USB-C cable to your PC. I notice when you're using both the XLR input and the USB-C input that there's a high pitch frequency whining noise. And for that reason alone, I would not recommend using the XLR and USB inputs at the same time. Uh, here's an example of what I'm talking about. I might have to boost it in post, but it's there. 
Also, with the clickable knobs, you'll hear these in the microphone every time you press them. Just a heads up. The included boom arm is easy enough to install. You just tighten the C-clamp on your desk and insert the boom arm into the top of the C-clamp hole. Once inserted, heh, you... <laughs> Once inserted, you tighten the clamp and thread the microphone on. I would like to have seen a few cable ties included here just to make cable routing a little neater, but hey, I got a million of those, so no biggie. If you'd like to go with a little more pro option, Mono offers the BA92 boom arm for $79.99. That's what I'm using right here. This is a low profile boom arm with an all aluminum construction. This is a really solid competitor for anyone that was looking to get an Elgato Wave mic arm. That, that one's uh, about $100, I think. They operate almost identically except the mono is about $20 cheaper and since it's low profile you won't have to worry about the boom arm cutting off your vision to your monitors and it's super easy to install just get the boom clamp on your desk place a BA92 into the clamp and then thread the PD200X on the end of the boom arm once completed use the provided allen key to lock the joints and the boom arm is all set easy peasy and so far it's been treating me pretty great I, I, I like this thing a lot using the USB-C option the microphone's super easy easy to set up on your PC. In Windows, select the Mono PD200X as your default microphone input. If you choose to route your audio through the microphone, you can do so as well here. You just select that as your output device. The software you need to run the microphone is called Mono Link. Something I'm really not happy about is that you have to enter a name and email in order to download the software. However, you can enter bogus information like I did in order to get to that point. Mono, seriously remove this from your website. There shouldn't be a pop-up requesting email information to use the software for any of your products. I found the software simple, but robust. Updating the firmware of the microphone is simple enough. By clicking on the gear icon on the right-hand side, you'll be able to click on the check for firmware update button. And then if an update's available, the, it will be issued to the microphone. The software has a standard side and an advanced side. On the standard side, you can adjust your microphone gain, headphone volume, enable microphone monitoring, enable a tone of the microphone, turn RGB on and off, adjust the brightness and the color. On the advanced side, you can change between four preset EQ options or set up your own EQ. If you use the custom EQ feature, you'll be able to adjust three bands of EQ. On the advanced portion of the advanced EQ setting, you'll be able to adjust seven bands of EQ. In future revisions of the software, I would like to be able to select the specific frequency to adjust and I'd also like access to a parametric EQ option. You'll also be granted access to a limiter, compressor, and noise reducer. If you don't know, a limiter will prevent the mic from peaking at a certain dB threshold. The compressor will attempt to make your mic output equal in volume, and a noise reducer will reduce background noise at the cost of audio fidelity. You only get these software features using the USB-C mode on the PD200X. You will not get these features if you're running this microphone via XLR. You just don't get them. It works like a regular microphone at that point. In case you're curious what all these options do here is a sound test often my brother is the tank when we play overwatch 2 often my brother is the tank when we play overwatch 2 often my brother is the tank when we play overwatch 2 often my brother is the tank when we play overwatch 2 often my brother is the tank when we play overwatch 2 often my brother is the tank when we play overwatch 2 Often, my brother is the tank when we play Overwatch 2. Often, my brother is the tank when we play Overwatch 2. Often, my brother is the tank when we play Overwatch 2. Often, my brother is the tank when we play Overwatch 2. Which setting sounded best to you guys? Let me know in the comments. If anything happens with the PD200X or you just don't like it, Mono offers a 30 day return and refund service for the products purchased directly on mono.com, which is pretty standard. It's good to see that. However, the warranty isn't as solid as I'd like it to be. They only offer a 12 month warranty period. Overall, the product offers good dollar to dollar performance and serves as a strong budget friendly competitor to microphones like the Fine Fine AMA and the Elgato 
Auto Wave 3 microphone. Although the build quality and warranty could be improved and the requirement to enter an email to download software is a drawback. Like seriously, Mono, change this please immediately. The microphone provides decent sound quality for a budget friendly cost and is much better than any headset boom microphone. And it's particularly suitable for those looking to replace their gaming headset boom mic without spending too much money. The boom arm that comes with the PD200X is decent enough. It's nice to see affordable upgrades like the BA92 boom arm also available. This is a worthwhile investment for anybody that's looking for a inexpensive, low profile boom arm. And I'm very happy to see that there's some competition to the Elgato Waves low profile boom arm out there. While the website has some amusing spelling errors, this microphone kit does prevail as a budget friendly starter option with a very nice price tag. It's so nice. If you appreciate deep dives in the PC related tech like this, consider dropping a sub. As always, I hope you learned something and until next time, GG.